Hi. In this video, I'll set up the topography for my site with the Impreza WordPress theme. I'll use an example page with several content blocks showing different text styles and levels of headings. I want to change the topography, which means adjusting text fonts and styles. I start by going to the admin panel. Impreza. Theme options. Topography. Here, I'll set up the font for the regular text. I can choose the font from the web safe combinations. These fonts are pre-installed on the devices, so the site will load faster. Or I can choose one of the Google fonts that provides more opportunities for creating well-designed topography. In this case, I'll choose the Source Sans Pro font. I can use the checkboxes below to specify the needed font weights. The not selected ones won't load. Thus, it also optimizes the loading speed. Next, I can specify the font size using the absolute and relative values and specify its line height. I am moving on to the headings. If the font isn't specified, the heading will have the same font family as the regular text. Generally, this way is optimal for most websites. However, I want to use a separate font for headings. So I pick it and save the changes. Next, I'll go back to the demo page and reload it to check the topography changes. I see new styles applied to the relevant elements. Most site elements define their sizes in relative units based on the primary font size. So if I change the font size, it will also change some elements. To check how it works, I'll go to the demonstration page with icon boxes. I'll inspect its source code and find the body font size. As I increase or decrease it, I see icons and headings change their size accordingly. It means these are the relative sizes based on the font size. Thus, to keep the element sizes proportional on all devices, I can separately set up the font size for desktops and mobiles. I'll return to the topography settings. Along with the fonts described earlier, I can also use custom fonts, uploading them to my site. I want to use the inter font for the text, which I can find in the Google Fonts library. However, font developers frequently post updates, so the Git repository always has its latest version, unlike the Google library. To use the font's latest version, I'll scroll down to the uploaded font section. I'll press the add. Upload and pick the font file. Save the changes, and refresh the topography page. After this, I can see the freshly uploaded font in the list under the uploaded fonts. While editing the site content, I can also set up the fonts in the element settings. I'll click the element to open its settings. Choose the design settings. Pick the text. And scroll down to the font setting. If I want to add new fonts to this list, I can easily do so. I'll go back to the topography settings and scroll down to the additional Google font section. I'll press the add button, pick the needed font, and save changes. If I return to the demo page and reload its preview, I can open the element settings again. And I see the freshly added font in the list of available options. Thanks for watching. In this video, I showed how to set up the topography and specify the needed fonts for the site. In the following video, I'll show how to set up colors and color schemes.